they just won't leave my tomatoes alone, and who am I to shoo them away? Isn't a beetle just as permitted to partake of my plans as I am, Julie? Positively, accidentally, Frank. But I've taken such good care of them. I read to them every day. I water them the perfect amount. Oh, you do. You pour a whole book on them and read them the water on their little heads and everything. <laughs> Julie, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Frank. I'm only teasing. You know, if this is bothering you so much, you should have a little sign just for those bugs. It can say, Terrific Tomatoes. Look, but don't touch. What makes you think they're going to be able to eat all that? Well, they've got big and beautiful eyes, don't they? Like big old saucer plates. Oh, Julie, don't be so rude. You wouldn't like it if they said that about you. Said what about me? How lovely my hair is. That I put just the right amount of polish on my horns. <laughs> no, more like that Julie Joyful with her nose like an orange. Oh, if they said that, they'd also probably say, Oh, that Frank, frankly, with that banana on his face. Banana? <laughs> well, if they're going to be so rude in my garden, maybe it's best that they don't get to partake of any more tomatoes, then. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, how are we going to keep them out? Maybe Howdy's got something in his shop. Oh, Howdy is more inclined to sell us canned laughter than he is to sell us something actually useful. Besides, I don't think he likes my rendition of a flea and a fly. No, oh, don't you, Brett. I'm sure we can come up with a wonderful joke between the three of us. Isn't that right? <laughs>